Hey everybody, Mad Muck here from Mad Muck's Game Room. Welcome to another Game Room haul. I have got um, quite a few things um, for this haul. Surprisingly, because um, I'm supposed to be saving money. Yeah, I don't do so well. So, um, I've got a few really cool things. Um, first off, I've got a table. Uh, actually, that's all I got, so thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Nah. Um, okay. This one. There. Boom. Sharknado. The pop vinyl character. That is so cool. Just, uh, actually, um, bit. I'm going to show you this this little beastie because this this is freaking awesome. I, I love this pop vinyl character when I saw it, and um, always wanted to get it. So finally, finally got it, and I just think it's a freaking awesome, awesome figurine. It's a tornado with just a friggin' shark in the middle of it. That's freaking awesome. That is so cool. And I love it. I absolutely love it. So, very happy to have that one. Uh, which way does it? There we go. It goes that way. And we'll just close that all back up. So, yeah. Um, I'm looking for another pop vinyl character. Um from Bob's Burgers, the TV show. I'm looking for Louise. That is the one that I want, and I think I just broke my chair. Nah, we're good, we're good. Cool. Um, so yeah, I, I've been looking for Louise for um, a little bit now. I've seen pretty much all the other characters from the show except Louise. I want Louise. That is another vinyl character that I really want. Um, no other ones that I can really think of. I don't generally collect pop vinyl characters, but it's... If I find find one that um, I go, hey, I like that character, I'll buy that one. So I've got... Um, uh, I've got one for Kratos from God of War. Um, I've got Slimer from uh, Ghostbusters. And... The, um, the, the Dancing Groot from um, Guardians of the Galaxy. And he has a uh, black marker on the back of it. Isn't it weird? Yes, yeah, so I don't generally collect them, but uh, when, I, when I see one that I really like, I get it. Uh, moving on. Um, another character, an amiibo. Boom! Meta Knight. Yeah. Um, he was actually on special, uh, again, another one of those things uh, that uh, I don't collect as such, but um, if I find a character that I like, or in an Amiibo's case, if there's one that's um, really cheap, going on special or something like that, I'll get it. Um, I only have, uh, what, this will be number seven? No, number eight that I have. And I only have one special edition one, which is the uh, Silver Mario. Um, and yeah, I, I like Meta Knight because he's from um, Kirby. So I've got Kirby. Kirby was the first one that I got. And the most expensive one that I got was uh, Rosalina. And I paid dearly for that one because I really wanted it and uh, nobody had it. But, yeah, whatever. Um, okay, what else have I got? Ooh, yes, this. Boom! The um, Inside Out playset for Disney Infinity 3.0 for PS4. And I've started playing that because um, I have a PS4 now. Yay! Um, I haven't seen the movie. And I want to see the movie. But I got this playset because it's very colourful and um, it gives you a little demo when you have like the base game and uh, looks like something I want to play. So I got this and I'm thinking of, well I'm not thinking of getting, I am going to at some stage get uh, the other emotions, um, what there's sadness, fear and disgust. 
Yes, I'm going to get those. This one's joy and uh, anger. So yeah, glad I got that. We'll leave that on the side. So this table is so so handy. You see, just put that there. I'll put it over there. No, no, no. I'm going to put it over there now. Cool. Um, yep, another one for the 3.0. This is a um, what, what? What do they call it? Uh, an expansion game. So it's pretty much bleh, like this, except you don't get the characters, you just kind of get the playset type thing. It's not really a playset, but um, I got this one for a particular reason. When I started playing Disney Infinity, um, I got the base game, which had three playsets with it, was the Monster... University, um, The Incredibles, and Pirates of the Caribbean. Now, when I was playing Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, my favorite character to play with um, at that time was Elsa from Frozen. And uh, that that's another story why I have that one. Um, and I felt... I thought, hey, it's Pirates of the Caribbean. This is cool. You know, it's quite a quite a cool little world they got going in the in the playset there. Um, I'm going to use Elsa. Turns out you can't. Turns out you can only use characters from that playset. So it was um, Jack Sparrow and uh, Davy Jones and all those dudes, um, which was kind of a bummer, you know, because um, Frozen doesn't actually have its own playset, as far as I know. Um, and, you know, it would have been really cool if it did. So, they made this, which is the Toy Box Takeover um, expansion game. Which means you can use absolutely any character that you have to play through this um, story thing kind of stuff. So, um, you can do the uh, Marvel's playthrough, the Star Wars playthrough, and the uh, Disney playthrough with absolutely any character that you have and I've been using this bad bass boom Hulk Buster freaking awesome and uh, yeah it's really cool so um, I'm glad I got this one um, I've only played a little bit of it um, I might see if some friends want to play with me because that's it's it's a fun game to play with friends because it's it's very just you know, not serious, just, it's just fun. Um, <laughs> going from a PS4 game all the way back to the original Xbox. Yeah, you see, it's a green case. What is this green case? It is Die Hard Vengeance Vendetta, sorry. Die Hard Vendetta. For the original Xbox. And yes, this is based on the film. I uh, don't know what film it's based on. Uh, I'm not sure. Haven't played it yet. I want to play it. I just haven't played a lot of games in my game there in my game room lately because it is smack in the middle of summer. The weather is being an absolute fucking dick, and it is scorching hot, as well as the humidity being way up there. And sitting in this room is like sitting in a freaking sauna. So uh, you can imagine me trying to play a damn game when I'm in heat. It doesn't do well. And I'll show you why that is um, after this. So remember that. Remember, I don't do well in heat while playing games. Um, okay, from games to... Um, Movies, films. I found this second hand. I wanted it. I definitely wanted it. So I got it. It is the Alien Anthology and it is in Blu ray. It is Alien, Aliens, Alien 3, and Alien Resurrection. All in Blu ray. Boom! This is badass. Absolutely badass. So glad I got this one because, um, Way back, I actually, well, when I was, um, uh, no, this, 
yeah, I was still an apprentice. So, um, I uh, watched all four of these in one night, and uh, man, once you get past aliens, it becomes a bit of a chore. But um, it's really cool, and I really wanted it. So this is going to be getting rid of my, uh, what do I have? Um, I have the first Alien um, DVD, single disc edition, just DVD, that I'm going to be, um, I don't know, giving them to someone or, you know, I'm not going to be selling it because no one wants to buy it. Um, because now I have it on Blu-ray. So I don't need to really double up because the other one's not a collector's edition or anything like that. So, yeah, four movies there. And that was really cheap too. Um, second hand. So groovy. And this, boom! Gonna Creek Court, Volume 5. This is Refine. I have been waiting for this book. There is something that you, my family probably never thought they'd ever hear me say. I have been waiting for this book. Alright. It is my new favorite story series. I freaking love it. When I get one, I have to read it. It's, okay, it's not a book with, like, it's, it's this, okay? It's, it's a graphic novel. Alright, so it's pretty pictures to look at, but still, I freaking love this series. If you like, um, you know, just weird supernatural stuff, um, I highly recommend Gunner Creek Court. As far as I know, Volume 5 is the latest one that's been published on paper. Um, it is an online... Um, comic series and I haven't actually checked the ones online because I actually like the books and when this got released it's at the comic book store they said they had it and boom bought it on the spot don't care what the price is I wanted it so and I've read it and I freaking love it and I can't wait for the next one so I don't know how long it's gonna take for that one to come out but very glad I got that one now, for my last piece, comes in two pieces, a board game. Boom! Boop. There we go. Escape. Curse of the Temple. The Curse of the Temple. This. I want to play this. I haven't played it yet. You can play it as um, Solitaire. But um, from all of, uh, not reviews, but, well, yeah. Technically, all, all the reviews and um, gameplay I've seen. Oh, damn. Pretty nasty damage on there. Uh, yeah, from all those things that I've seen, um, they recommend that you play this with people because um, you need at least two or three people to play it to have a lot of fun because it is a real time adventure game. Uh, it takes pretty much 10 minutes, it comes with a CD soundtrack um, that plays a whole bunch of like ambient music and just you know creating an ambience and makes you feel creepy like you're in a in a cave or like Indiana Jones or something like that and um, then it turns into like Indiana Jones and you have to try and escape so you have to roll dice frantically you know just frantically just rolling dice to get places and ultimately escape and it's a cooperative game so um, the only way you win is to get everybody out so yeah I really really want to play this and um, not much else I can say about it because I haven't even taken the stuff out of the packaging um, so hopefully, hopefully, I will get some people to play this with me, um, and we'll see how it goes. You probably won't see that on um, Games of Boredom, because I don't think Games of Boredom is a thing anymore. But who knows? Who knows? It's not official. And I've got this as well. Escape Illusions. This is the first expansion pack. 
and it just gives you some extra little chambers, some more dice, and some cards. So it's just an expansion for that game. Yeah, so um, if you give me one second, scooch, and I'm back. Let me just uh, get that out of there. Um, me and heat don't mix, all right? I, I hate the heat, I hate it. I love the cold. Winter is my season. I hate summer, all right? You can leave comments down, the comments down below, you're slaughtering me, I don't give a shit. I hate summer, all right? Because it is just hot and just there. And when I play games during summer, this is what happens. That is an Afterglow controller for a PS3. It met the ground at a great rate of speed. I was playing Tomb Raider. Yeah. And now it is in many, 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 many pieces. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a fan of the heat. It gives me a very short fuse when getting frustrated in games. But anyway. Uh, that has been everything I got for my game room haul. Um, what? Oh, actually, yeah, this this chair was uh, loaned to me by my cousin. So, thanks, bud. And, uh, yeah, I don't have anything else that I got, I don't think. Um, other than online things, there was, uh, there was a sale on Steam recently for the Chinese New Year and uh, I spent like 80 to 100 bucks on that so I've got a few games on there um, been playing one called Firewatch which just got released day before yesterday and uh, I'm loving it so um, I'm trying to get through it but I have to play like right when everything's dark because that's when it cools down <laughs> and uh, I don't really want to break my computer because it's rather expensive so yeah that's it thanks for watching guys I've been Mad Muck for Mad Muck's Game Room on another Game Room haul I'm just gonna leave you to look at that bad boy right there and, uh, yeah, so, um, leave some comments in the comment section down below. You can like this video if you like it. And, hey, holy shit, if you really feel like it, you can subscribe to my channel. You know, this is not all I do. I, I do stupid things. But, uh, yeah, anyway, um, if you don't, subscribe or comment or like um thanks for watching anyway and uh hopefully i will see you guys next time in another video so thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you later bye